Hello humans. Fuck. Okay, my brother is asleep. I shouldn't be too loud. It's two past midnight, which means the 24 hour readathon has started. Let's just get through the TBR real quick so I don't waste too much time. I already made coffee because I'm really tired. Perfect condition to fucking start a 24 hour readathon without sleep is to be tired. I've already been awake for over 12 hours. So, I mean, it's my own damn fault. I mean, why do I keep doing this? I don't know. <laughs> but it's currently, um, current, what is, get it yourself first, get it yourself first. What's currently also going on is the reading rush. I've completed almost all of my challenges. I've already read three books this week and today I'm planning to read a whole lot more. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well this year because last year it really fucking horrible. So it's kind of nice to do well for a change. And basically the last relevant video I've posted on this challenge was also a 24 hour readathon. So it's kind of all I do here. Once a year upload just 24 hours of reading. We should get to the fucking TBR. Oh my God. Okay, so the first book that I'm planning to read today is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. And this is the last book on my Reading Rush TBR. With this book, I will have completed all of the challenges, except I still need to watch a book to movie adaptation then I've completed all of the challenges. And well, maybe I can also read seven books. So that will be another challenge. I'm getting off the point. So this has like purple on the cover and it's really short and I'm planning to read it in one sitting just in this seat. So this is my first book. My second book is the last book in the Magisterium series by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. Um, for those of you who've seen my other 24 hour readathon, I read the fourth one last year as a first book and I, I felt it was a really good book to start off my readathon. It was really easy to get into, it was a really nice story and I'm hoping that the last book will do that for me as well. Next book I have here is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I finished reading Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone yesterday. Uh, I'm a Gryffindor by the way. Big fucking surprise. It's the next book on my TBR which I'm not really excited about is Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han. I've read P.S. I Still Love You some time in the last two months, I don't quite remember. I hated it, it was so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry if you liked the book, that's great for you, but I just felt it was really unnecessary and like nothing happened. So I'm hoping that something will happen in this book. I don't know, I've already bought it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bothered. I'm not really expecting anything from this book, so. Yeah. Here are all the books I'm planning to read. Um, it's a bit ambitious, honestly. I don't know. It's just, it, like, they, they don't have any pictures. Just all massive blocks of text. What time is it? It's 11 past midnight to start with this book because I was just such a fan last year. Last year was really nice. Look at this. It's just pure black. Look at this. Hello. I just had a moment there. Can be way too hot here. It's like 34 degrees Celsius. And I'm dying! I fucking hate the weather at the moment. Ugh. downstairs because it's really fucking hot in my room and I'm letting it cool a bit and opening my windows and shit and until then I'll read here. It's two o'clock right now and I'm almost a hundred pages in. I'm going to make myself another coffee right now and after that I will go back upstairs because it's quite hot down here as well. And I've let my room air out for like one and a half hours, so I think it should be rather cold now up there. At least cooler than here, so yay!
Alrighty, guys, hi, all right, let's talk. So this was the last book of the series. I rather enjoyed the series as a whole. Um, I gave this book three stars. Although it really was not my favorite, I think my favorite will remain the third one. This was just very happy-go-lucky. I guess these books are really short, like they're middle school books and you can really see that. I mean, I don't know if I just forgot or didn't notice with the books before, but the writing style is very simplistic. I don't know if it's the same in English because these are the translated versions, these are the German versions. The writing style reminded me very much of everything I used to read when I was like 10 <laughs> or the way I used to write when I was around 13, 14. That's massively cringy to me because I would like to forget the stuff I wrote in Wattpad when I was 14. It's just a writing style. It's not my favorite, but I mean, I guess it's middle school, but I've read better middle school. Or maybe it just got lazy in the last book, I don't know. I just felt that they could have handled. I mean, I mean, I guess I'm happy, you know, for them, but I think they could have handled it a bit differently, more like actually live out the consequences of their previous written action. It's a weird thing to write a fantasy series with only like 200 pages, like I'm happy that it only has 200 pages because that's a reason why I like it, but it's just, it's very fast. Like if things get resolved, it's insane. It reminds me, I just rewatched a Barbie movie, like Barbie and Mermaidia or something like that. And it's very much the same because every problem gets resolved incredibly fast and I'm just not used to that. I'm used to stuff being dragged or being more complex and complicated to get over a problem. So this was just like, it caught me off guard a bit. I just don't know if the other books were also like that. I really like the series. It's really, it's cute. It's easy, it's fluffy. It's not, it's certainly not their best work, but you know, it's, it's good for like a readathon. I think I need to make myself some coffee because I'm so tired. I'm really so tired. And I don't know how I'm going to survive this. Actually talking makes it so much better. I'm going to make myself tea because I don't feel like having an older coffee. And then I'll read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Hopefully that doesn't take me too long because it's already five o'clock and I won't I want breakfast at some point, so... I got a pretty like a girl And he got five stories to tell I see both sides like Chanel I see on both sides like Chanel Swimming like through the pool water Eating like I'm underwater I have my tattoos in Shibuya Police think I'm up the underworld Why I've treated nigga like you It's almost six o'clock and I'm about to start Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I know it took me a long time. I took like a 40 minute break. So I watered the plants. It's going to be a hot day. Made myself some tea. Forgive me. But now I feel more awake and ready to read this baby. So let's fucking go. So I have now finished Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and with that I have finished the final book of my Reading Rush TBR. I really like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's a really cool book. I don't know why. It's just really interesting. Very nicely written and I give it five stars. I mean I think it would have been even cooler if it weren't such a famous story and we didn't all already know that. They are the same person, but I really, really like it. This was really cool. I'm really tired, so now I'm going to go eat breakfast. I think I'll watch Peter Pan. I know it's kind of not the point to watch an entire movie, but I'm just tired. I think watching Peter Pan, it's one of the final things I need to do for like the basic reading challenges of the reading rush because I need to watch a book to movie adaptation. I'll just go downstairs and eat and watch. Peter Pan. Ooh. It's 
currently 9 o'clock. I haven't finished watching Peter Pan. I've started the movie. I think I'll watch it throughout the day, like in chunks. But I'm going to move downstairs now with the reading because um, my room is quite hot. But I am starting Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, I'm in no rush. I've seen in the last couple of readathons that I've always read a lot in the morning and then in the afternoon I didn't really do anything. Now I try to balance it a bit more right now but I'm really tired. This is also not too, too, too big a book. It's like it is the biggest book today I think with like 350 pages depending on what Always and Forever Laura Jean has in store for me but I think that's oh it's also 300 pages. I'm telling you these books are way too long like Jesus Jenny I'm sorry but it could have been just one book and the book could have just been 200 pages thank you very much unpopular opinion I love it. Harry is such a little shit. You forgot the magic word and everyone's like, Oh my god, the magic word! Oh no! <laughs> the thing is, I'm very tired. I'm very tired. I would love to go to sleep now. Giving up has crossed my mind several times. However, at this point, I can't even give up because it's like half past nine and if I were to go to sleep now my sleep schedule would be so completely fucked it would take me forever to recover which is the reason why I'm giving up I mean I've only been doing this for like 10 hours but the thing is I've been awake for 24 hours at this point and the challenge is 40 more hours to go that would, at the end I'm awake for like 38 hours and that's so much. So I don't know really, the ending we'll see but I'm not faring well at the moment. So that's critical, that's not nice. We do not stand and I don't even have a dog here at the moment, my dog's not here. Which just leads me to like why, how can I do this without a dog? And the answer is I can't. We're just not doing great. We're just not on top of our game. Ugh! This is my third coffee. Is this healthy? No. Uh, I think I'll try out something new, which is watch a bit of Peter Pan then read a bit until I'm about to fall asleep again. Then continue watching Peter Pan, and then read, and then watch, and then... Absolutely fucking genius! Okay, I've decided to take a nap. Not like a big thing, I'm um, like 20 minutes, half an hour, or something like that, because I can't read. I <laughs> Literally, I can't read. Well, what's the bloody point then? <laughs> I keep having to watch TV to kind of keep me awake, which is weird. Like, I can read two pages and then I can barely keep my eyes open and I start skimming everything and that's not the point of this so I'll try to have like a half hour nap because coffee for some reason is just not helping <laughs> so I'll hope that my nap will help we'll see we'll hope boy I've just woken up from my little nap uh, it's 12 o'clock now I feel much better Maybe like I could actually go through with this at this point because it was really, really critical before. I think I'll finish watching Peter Pan and then I'll continue reading. My newest method of staying awake, vitamins. It's 4 p.m. I'm going fairly well, tiredness wise. I've just eaten lunch, dinner, I don't know. And I'm almost halfway through Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And I'm going to continue reading now.
I'm finished with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I guess I'm faring better than last two readathons around this time because I'm more or less okay, I guess. I don't really want to read anymore, especially because the last book I have is always in Forever Lot or Jean, so I know I'm going to eat something and then I'll see how far I'll get with that book, but um, I don't have any great plans at this point. Okay, Lara Jean, three more hours to go and then you will be done. Yikes, I need to sleep. What the fuck is the first sentence? I can't. I like to watch Peter when he doesn't know I'm looking. Edward Cullen says hello. Excuse me. What the fuck? Girl, what the fuck? What? Ah, I just, ah, I just don't want to read this. <laughs> <sighs> Oof. Um, fuck this. I'm so sorry, but I've read 10 pages, not even, I've read maybe like two or three pages in Always and Forever Lara Jean. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care. And it's really sad how much I just don't care. I don't give one shit, not one, about Lara Jean or Peter or anyone else in these books. I don't care anymore, really. I really liked All the Boys I've Loved before, but I don't know to stop there. I don't know if it's because I'm, I've been awake for so long at this point and I just can't, just can't stand to read this. This is not happening. Not now, and maybe not ever. I, I can't bring myself to read this if I don't care <laughs> about the characters. And I'm sorry, like this is not meant to be offensive if you like the series, that's great. I don't. I think I'll continue this, baby. I've started reading this at some point. I should finish it at some point, so. I, I guess it's like almost 10 o'clock anyway, it's like almost 10 p.m. So for the last two hours I'll just... The hate you give. You know what we're going to do now? It's a very cool thing and like it's like a really shitty thing, but we're going to do it anyways. And um, it's called cheating. I am done. I can't read anymore. I cannot listen to anything anymore. I am done. I'm not tired. I'm not even tired. It's the worst part of it, but I'm just done. For the love of God, if I want to continue being able to read tomorrow or like the next month, I need to stop now. So we're just going to end this here and have my page count. So the first book that I've read today was the last book of the Magisterium series by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. And this had... 256 pages. Then Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. This has 75 pages. Then I've read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and this had 360 pages. And I've read 40 pages in, in The Hate You Give by N.G. Thomas. Not really like the entirety of this. So yeah, this was weird. And wild and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a really nice day and bye.